projects that we uh, completed, and I, uh, I know y'all would be proud of this, is the Pyramid Road project uh, that we completed to the city limits. That was a $10 million project, about a two-year two -year project endeavor that uh, uh, the state of Georgia put $600,000 into that project. So the other money came out of the sales tax. So uh, we just completed. It was completed to the, the school, the playhouse, Tam's Restaurant here. And we're going to, we're working right now, and we're going to let a contract, or the state will let a contract, on the intersection of Pirba Mill, Perkle Ferry, to straighten out that mess there. That's a, that's a congested area. And if you're, if you're leaving here going, uh, want to go south on Highway 9 or whatever, you've got to go around the courthouse and make a turn, go around, come back out with the Dairy Queen, the cemetery. We're working out where you're going to be able to leave here and go straight through. You won't have to turn. Oh. So that will be a one-way in the Dairy Queen. <coughs> we'll have that uh, change. Right. And uh, that's a project we've been working on for a long time. Uh, whenever the, the DOT did the pairings of, uh, of Main Street and Maple Street and made them a one-way street in coming and uh, Perkle Ferry Road in West Maple uh, that goes over to the lake, across 400, uh, that's been 20 years ago, and that was the DOT, and we tried to get all this done at that time, and we couldn't, couldn't get it done. So finally, uh, we've agreed to do all the, pay all the expenses to get this done, and they've approved it. So uh, hopefully we'll have, uh, by the first of the year, this project will be completed. I understand we're going to be able to uh, start construction on that in the next 30 days, which is an extension of Peterborough Road. And it, what it'll do is straighten out the intersection at uh, Perkle Ferry and Highway 9 and Pilgrim Mill. You'll have a signal there where you'll know when you're supposed to turn. Right now, you, you go out of Pilgrim Mill, you put your line in your own hand. You can get run over. Get run over. So uh, we're, we're working on that one. And also, the intersection there at the Dairy Queen at Maple Street, that intersection will be improved. And uh, we'll be working on that. Also, Another project that we've been working on for a long, long time is uh, Mary Alice Park and that intersection. Really, we've been working on the intersection at Mary Alice Park. God, it's been 20 years, and the state just keeps pushing it back. And one of the things is Highway 9 is a, is a federal highway, and anything is done with that Highway 9 has got to be approved not only with the state, but with the feds. So it takes a lot of red tape. And I've been, like I said, I've been working on it a long time. And finally, they tell me that we're going to be able to let a contract um, in early 2010. And what it'll do, it'll, it'll line uh, Marianas Park Road with Meadow Drive. And that'll be signalized. Now, What's, what's going to happen? They're going to take Marianas Park Road. If any of you have traveled to Marianas Park, you'll see where the new construction stopped. That road is going to bear to the north a little bit, and it's going to take uh, it's going to take four buildings down in there. Those four buildings in the corner, which is the pawn shop, the laundromat, uh, the office behind the pawn shop, and the Dr. Halib's office. All those will be gone. So that's supposed to be started early next year. The contract's supposed to be laid. So that's one of the one of the things that uh, we've uh, and also uh, the, on to Marathas Park, we've completed that project or in the process of doing the markings on it right now and finishing that project up. Uh, another project we finished up uh, actually it was middle of last year, early last year, was uh, North Georgia College. Uh, uh, division of the University of Georgia uh, system. And they uh, lo they came to us, and we've been trying to get uh, a college presence here in coming for a long, long time. And uh, uh, finally, we got North Georgia to, to listen to us. We told a, a lot of uh, uh, students that was attending North Georgia we needed a closer presence of the college here. So they agreed that. Uh, they would locate, they wanted the most, one of the most prestigious locations in coming, they said. So I said, okay, what about 100 Main Street? They said, what's that? I said, this is City Hall. <laughs> we had the upper floor, the top floor of City Hall, which was unfinished. And it was 10,000 square feet. So they agreed to come in and, uh, and uh, finish.
finish out the uh, top of uh, the city hall. And right now they have they got the uh, two-year MBA program uh, college in uh, 100 Main Street, City Hall. So we was proud to get them. And that's just the first step. We're working to get uh, the four-year college. Of course, you've got to get the two before you get the four. And you've got to go through the border regions. And it's a lot of red tape. I hope it's not another 20 years to do something on that. But uh, uh, we, we, we're working very hard to get, uh, get North Georgia campus here and coming. And, we have uh, we have uh, agreed to donate 45 acres of land the city has to North Georgia uh, College Far Campus, which will be located uh, just north here on uh, Pergamon Road between Pergamon and 400 here, where the Aquatic Center is going to be built. So that's one of the things that uh, that we're working on. Also, uh, in addition to that, we're going to be working things. Uh, um, on the drawing table right now, and hopefully the contract to be let within the next 30, 45 days is the uh, aquatic center. That's a that's a 14 million dollar project that uh, is going to replace uh, the park out here, uh, the swimming pool part of it. It's going to have four four swimming pools. We're going to have uh, uh, Olympic competitions. Uh, type pools. We're going to have uh, uh, several. Well, it's going to be four pools all together, and uh, and we're going to have uh, uh, therapeutic uh, pools also for handicapped in that uh, complex. Uh, we're going to have weight rooms. Uh, it'll be meeting rooms. And uh, it's going to be a very elaborate, state-of-the-art complex. So uh, the plans are drawn. Uh, the the uh, construction team has been hired, and they're working on uh, bringing bids to the city uh, board for their next council meeting. And hopefully, we'll be able to start the uh, construction work, uh, like I said, within the next 30, 45 days. Also on that site which we were proud to work with was the uh, DDS uh, Department of uh, Driver Services for your driver's license to be renewed or for kids to get their driver's license. This is going to be a full-fledged driver's license service center. If you drive a, a big red tractor and trailer, you can go get your CDLs. If you drive a motorcycle, you can go get your motorcycle license. Uh, or, you, or whatever type of license you need to be able to get there. Otherwise, you you have to go to uh, go to uh, Hall County, which is on uh, 129 north of Hall County, to the uh, state patrol headquarters to get your CDL or go to Cartersville. So we're we're setting it up where you can get it all right here. And this is if y'all remember reading the paper, you remember the county. They tried to get the county, the state of Georgia tried to get the county to do this, South County Board of Commissioners, and, and they had agreed to it, then all of a sudden they didn't agree to it, then they backed out. So it was a no-brainer as far as uh, uh, the city council was concerned. Whenever they came to us, it's a service for our community. And uh, hey, it's going to be a million-dollar complex. They're going to pay the city. Uh, $12,500 a year for 20 years. It was a no-brainer for the city to build this uh, company. For you veterans, we have in the uh, National Guard Armory. Uh, we've signed a contract with the uh, state of Georgia, the National Guards. They're going to build a National Guard Armory here. I understand that uh, Cherokee County and maybe Hall County is going to consolidate. This will be one big complex here. Uh, they'll have the what they call the uh, the annex building built within uh, 12 months from construction, and they'll they say they're going to let construction in the next 60 days. In the next five years, they'll have the total project completed. It'll be a 27 million dollar National Guard armory. Uh, it's going to be a be a great thing for coming in for South County. To they'll they'll be recruiting, have training classes. The whole on this uh, 14 acre track of land that the city's donated the National Guard Army out here. So we're very happy and honored that uh, they chose coming to come and, uh, and be with us.